Welcome to another Black Magic AI tutorial video. So in this video, we will run Tiny Yolo 3 object detection on live video from a GoPro camera connected to a Raspberry Pi. So you'll need some hardware first, the HDMI to CSI2 bridge and a GoPro Hero 7 black camera. So those are the main things you need. Uh, topics covered, we'll do a hardware setup, we'll clone the repo, then we'll copy our model from the previous video, and then we'll run our program, and then we'll test using object. Okay, so here's a little preview of um, object detection using our GoPro camera connected to our Raspberry Pi running the Tiny Yolo 3 algorithm. And as you can see, sometimes it uh, gets a little confused with the objects, for example, that um, it's recognizing the cow as a dog, but I guess there's not much detail, so it's understandable that it might be confused. Uh, it's also I have these little horse figures, so sometimes it correctly recognizes those as a horse, and sometimes it thinks it's a dog, um, depending on the orientation and what's, what other things are in the uh, scene. Uh, but this is a little time-lapse uh, video of the actual um, object detection on YOLO on a GoPro camera video, a live. So it's almost real time, but not quite. There's a couple seconds delay. All right, so here's my setup. I have my uh, Raspberry Pi, which is uh, connected to my Klaatu bot. Um, and I have my GoPro camera with the um, micro HDMI to HDMI adapter uh, because the GoPro has a micro uh, HDMI out port on there and that doesn't work with the other things. Uh, then I have my um, monitor here to uh, see my Raspberry deck to the monitor for my Raspberry Pi. And then the main thing you need, hardware that uh, you need is the Ovidia CSI 2 to HDMI adapter. Uh, so this, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but this connects to the CSI 2 uh, port on the Raspberry Pi, and that's where you would traditionally have your uh, Pi camera with the uh, ribbon cable to connect to it. But um, there are many reasons why you might want to use a camera that has um, another camera. And most cameras that you want, that you want to use have a HDMI port that you can um, stream the video output to. So in order to make that compatible with the Raspberry Pi, you need this uh, NVIDIA CSI2 HDMI adapter. So this allows you to connect to the traditional CSI2 port on the Raspberry Pi, but it also lets you connect an HDMI um, cable it for input into the video camera. So it just behaves just like the normal camera code wise, but now you can connect to other cameras. So there's many reasons why you might want to do that. Uh, one reason is you may already have some type of GoPro camera or something like that. Um, and you want to use that instead of buying a dish like this Pi Cam and you, the GoPro has dish additional features that you might want to use as opposed to the Pi Cam which is just a, a basic little uh, camera. Uh, I'm not saying there's any performance increase or anything like that but um, you may want to use that. And I also tried this with the generic GoPro camera. It, it doesn't work. Your camera has to have um, an HDMI out port, but it has to be able to stream the video con from the camera out that port. So that's an important thing. So that's why I'm using the um, GoPro Hero 7 Black. I bought the silver and I found out it has a, it, it doesn't have um, HDMI port and it doesn't stream to any of those ports. So uh, that's an important thing to remember if you're like looking for different cameras. But for this uh, setup, I'm using the um, for this setup, I'm using the GoPro 7 Black. All right. All right, so let's see how to connect this together. Uh, so let's see, the first thing we might want to do is to, I'm going to connect my monitor to my uh, HDMI output of my Raspberry Pi. So that's just the screen um, for the Raspberry Pi. So I'll connect that. Oops, I connect it. All right, so there's my monitor. So I need that. 
uh, the next thing is, and also I'm using the battery power uh, for now for the GoPro camera, but um, it comes with a power cable that you might want to use external power if you're going to be running it for a long time, but uh, it should be able, the battery should last long enough for this demo. All right, and the next thing I want to do is connect my GoPro to the camera input of my Raspberry Pi. So to do that, I have another cable, or just a normal HDMI cable, and that's where the adapter comes in. So I can connect my HDMI to the adapter board, and then I can connect the other end of my HDMI to the micro adapter on the camera. So I'm going to connect that like that. All right, so those are connected. So now I can get my video input. Uh, the next thing I want to do is to power up the Raspberry Pi. So I'll do that with the um, power connections that I have here. I'm going to use a battery for this for now, so it should work. Connect the battery. And I have my monitor power so I can see what's on there. Alright, so as you can see, the uh, Raspberry Pi is booting up. There's the monitor. So everything's set up. I have my uh, keyboard here. So the first step to get started, we'll go to the blackmagicai.com website, scroll down to the social media bar, and click on the GitHub icon, and that takes us to the Blackmagic AI uh, GitHub page. Then in repositories, we'll click on the tiny yellow three, and we'll copy the uh, URL for this repo because we'll need that because we're going to do a git clone. So we're going to do a git clone, which will copy all of that to repo to our local um, system. So while that's copying, and I am doing an SSH terminal into the Raspberry Pi, uh, but you could do it directly from a terminal in the Raspberry Pi. It's just, uh, it was difficult to record video and do it at the same time. So it's easier to do SSH and see it. All right, so we have a repo, so we're gonna CD into our tiny yellow repo, and we wanna go into the examples directory, so let's CD into that. All right, so when we list that, we will see that we have um, all the code, there's the actual program, it's called GoPro underscore tiny yellow pie, and then there's a cam test program, so that one you might wanna run just to test your camera, so that just shows a preview. But the one that actually does the object detection is this GoPro Tiny YOLO program. But we can't run it until we, um, we need to copy the uh, model, the YOLO3, Tiny YOLO3 model into this directory because it needs to be loaded by our program. And you'll have to watch the um, previous tutorial on the YOLO3 um, object detection on Raspberry Pi to show you how to create that model. So once you create that model, um, you can just uh, copy it into this directory. So right now I still have it on my, um, I still have that file on my computer, so I'm just gonna CD to it and copy it into this examples directory. So if you have it from the previous tutorial, you can still use that same one because it's a, it's a big file and you don't wanna keep redoing it every time so there it is it's our YOLO model dot h5 file so we need that in this examples directory in the same directory as the GoPro tiny YOLO um, so then all we're gonna do is I'm gonna CD back into my uh, tiny YOLO 3 repo directory clear my screen and then we want to, let's see, list. Now to run the program, all we have to do is, let's do Python three, and I'm running the GoPro tinyyellow.py, so let's run that one. And it takes a while for it to start up. Because once it takes a while um, to start up, because it uses um, 
has to load the tensor libraries, Keras, and all that stuff. But once that's loaded, the actual object detection, uh, it averages around three seconds. Um, but it's a total of four seconds because there's additional seconds of all the other code it's running. But the main object detection averages around three seconds. So once we get that going, we can test out the camera. All right, so there we go. It's running. Uh, so what we want to do is start putting things, items in front of the camera and see that it recognizes it. So I'm going to start with the uh, my little toy car here and see what it does. Oh, there we go. So it recognized that. So like I said, it's like a three second latency. So there's like a bounding box around that. Uh, let's try, I got a, like a little soldier guy. Let's put him in there. So that should show up as a person. It's kind of interesting, like I've been testing this, and you'll see different things. Um, the same object be identified as different things. So like I had a stuffed cat. So sometimes it shows up as a cat, sometimes it shows up as a teddy bear. And I have these other shapes, uh, these other little creatures. This is like a cow. <laughs> so let's see if it recognizes that. So it thinks the cow is a chair. Sometimes it actually recognizes a cow, sometimes it's a dog. Uh, let's put a little horse figure. Move our soldier over. over. So let's see. So it thinks a little horse is a dog. So we got cat, dog, chair. Maybe we can get a close up of that. Okay, so that's how we use a GoPro camera with Raspberry Pi and Tiny ELO 3 object detection. And once again, you can play around and experiment with different like uh, objects and see how it recognizes. So remember, this is Tiny ELO 3, so the Tiny ELO doesn't have as many uh, classes as the full one, so but it has enough to be kind of practical and useful for some things. And that concludes this tutorial. And don't forget to like us on our Facebook page or, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll be notified when uh, additional uh, videos are posted.